Five, four, three, two, one. Hello everyone and welcome to another video by me, the Techie Prepper. Today we're going to be covering one of my favorite items and that is a sun oven. In case you're unfamiliar with a sun oven, I'm going to give you a little tutorial on how it works and then I will show you a little bit of the hardware. Uh, and you'll go over the details of the hardware and then I'll take it out and we'll demo it and we'll actually cook something to show you how it works. So basically, if you're not familiar with the concept of a sun oven, what it is, is it's a box or a device. They make them in different form factors. This just happens to be a box form. But what it does is it captures the sun's energy as it comes down and it retains it and it builds up a temperature inside this insulated box. Now to make it even more efficient, you have these fold out um, reflectors that concentrate even more energy. You know, you get more energy, more uh, sun rays coming in and it reflects them inside to concentrate the energy inside the box. And what this allows you to do is to cook anything that you could cook in an oven or on a stove or on a grill. Basically, you can cook anything in this that you want. <laughs> um, it may end up a little differently. And then, you know, a grilled hamburger will obviously be grilled in here, but it will be cooked and, and edible. So um, I have cooked uh, whole chickens. I've cooked chili. I've cooked beans. I've cooked rice. I've cooked brownies. Um, I've cooked bread. You can cook anything you want in here as long as you have a partially sunny to a full sunny day. And uh, it doesn't matter what climate you're in. I happen to be in Florida and it hits 90 degrees and I use it in that type of environment. But you can also use it in cold environments in the middle of winter, as long as I, I said, you could put it out on your porch, your patio or your yard, um, you know, in 20 degree weather, as long as you have sun. So that's the important thing. Um, so let me show you a little bit uh, about the, the hardware that's involved in, in the production of this particular model. Like I said, there's different models. This happens to be the one when I bought it three or four years ago that works best for me. My intention was to cook around the house uh, after a hurricane or that type of event, not to take it hiking with me or that type of thing. Although you can buy other form factors of sun ovens that will do that. They're light, you can sling them on your back and you can take them with you. Um, I'll put links to those down uh, below as well. Give you the option to buy what works best for you if you're so inclined so um, this let me uh, clarify this takes absolutely no energy except your energy to walk out and cook in it and keep your eye on it so how this one is, is built it's it's basically the form factor is an 18 by 18 poly or plastic box very durable and it is framed in with this nice i think it's teak I'm not really sure what it is to be honest with you, but it is waterproof, weatherproof. And how do I know that? Because I have left it out. I was cooking a chicken in it all day long, like a crock pot. And um, a mid afternoon thunderstorm rolled through, totally soaked this thing. No water leaked in because it is airtight and watertight. Uh, nothing leaked in. Um, and all I did was wipe the reflectors and the wood off. There's no warping, no splitting. So. It's uh, very robust. So like I said, it's, the poly box, is, it's insulated very well. It's poly inside as well. And you have these polished aluminum reflectors, as I mentioned, and I'll show you the functionalities a little later, but they fold out very easily and fold up very easily for storage. You have a door, which is made of white glass. And you might be asking white glass, because I know I did when I heard the term white glass, I'd never heard of it before. And basically it's tempered glass, but what they do is they remove a lot of the lead content. So that allows more uh, of the sun's rays and energy to pass through the glass. So that's nice. It works well. And then uh, there's a rubber seal. And with the rubber seal along with the glass and these two little clips, you swivel them over and they clamp down on the glass and that forms the seal with the rubber which makes it nice to uh, hold in all that heat. These two items here are sights. Uh, 
Now, what these allow you to do is dial in, for lack of a better term, it lets you sight in or dial in this box towards the sun at the optimum angle to uh, heat it up. As I mentioned, these help you sight it in, the, the two pieces on the front, and to sight it in, you, you swivel it side to side, and then also, you have to adjust your elevation. So in the, well, let me just show you. It's a nice little stand, um, nice machined aluminum, and it's got a little rivet. And this scale right here allows you, you push it in, and you put it to the hole you want, pops out, and then your stand's locked in place. It's got a nice handle on it to pick it up and move it around. But before you do that, you wanna make sure your door is shut and clamped down. And then it's got this nice little strap to hold. It snaps in place down here and that holds everything together so you can take it up and carry it away. And that's it. So that's my uh, description. So now let's take it out and see how this sucker works. Uh, I, I've come out, I've set it up and I've aligned it. Hopefully you can see Yeah, there it is. So you can see the light hole uh, allows the light to pass through and it lines up with the little circle. So that means my, uh, I'm aimed correctly at the sun. It lines up the elevation, which is the up and down, the tilt and the azimuth, which is the, you know, the left and right. Um, so it, it's aligned properly. We're getting maximum uh, exposure. And I do have the reflectors up. You can see it's been out here for about an hour and it's uh, partly sunny day today, partly cloudy, about half and half. And you can see we're pushing a little over 300 degrees right now. I have a mixture of vinegar and water in there at the moment. And uh, the reason for that is I haven't used it in some time. It just, um, when you first get the, the oven, one of the things they, they ask you to do, and it does really help, is to uh, boil some or steam some vinegar and water in there. It just helps disinfect it and it takes some of the, the smell of the, uh, you know, the plastic out. It is very well insulated and uh, one thing I also recommend, I'm gonna take some temperature readings here for you in a minute, but one thing I do recommend is that you definitely wear some silicone gloves or at least an oven mitt because the glass gets very hot and anything inside because it's basically an oven and everything inside is, you know, at the moment, a little over 300 degrees. So be careful in that respect. I'm gonna open it up. I'm kind of used to doing it, so. I don't recommend doing this yourself, but let's see. Oh my God, the glass is very hot. Ooh, I just got a face full of steam. So let's check the temperature of the water and vinegar mixture right now. So it's over 200 degrees. So as you can see, if you were to use this for sanitizing water, it'd be more than sufficient. Um, you can get to the boiling point on this too. It, it actually will start boiling. I don't see it. I don't think it's been here long enough at this point in time, but it does get to that point. When I first uh, got this, it, I did leave it in there to boiling. So this is very well insulated, so it will um, retain the heat even in winter conditions. So the, the most important thing, as I mentioned, is that you have it aligned. And if you come out about every half hour, um, that's what's recommended to maintain the optimum temperature. I'm gonna line it every half hour for fast cooking. When you slow cook, it's not really as important to keep it aligned. You wanna have it facing uh, southern exposure, so have it facing south, and then you can leave it in there um, all day long, basically, and the temperature will fluctuate according to how much sun it gets and that type of thing. But it'll maintain a nice, steady, lower temperature over the course of the day. Um, and it will slow cook. It's like basically like cooking in a crock pot. So today I'm gonna to be baking cookies. So I will come out in a few minutes once I prepare my cookie batter and uh, we'll start cooking that and I'll show you how that turns out. Okay, so here we go. We're outside. I just mixed up my batter. Chocolate chip cookie dough. Getting ready to put it in. I have realigned my oven and you can see it's about 250 degrees it's gotten a little more cloudy today so um, it's been about an hour I had lunch in between so what I'm gonna do now is put this in so it's supposed to bake at 350 degrees 
for eight to 10 minutes. Seeing how it's a little bit lower, which happens with the sun oven, it's kind of hard to uh, regulate, you know, uh, down to that level of detail, the temperature, so, um, but it still works. So we're gonna put it in, it might just take a little bit longer. I'll keep a closer eye on it. Um, so I'm gonna pop it in now. Got to open it up because I was kind of preheating it. I had let it vent off some of the gas earlier from the vinegar and water that I had boiling in here to kind of disinfect and clean it because it hadn't been used in a while. As you can see, the tray inside does swivel. So it's a very nice feature that allows for the, the item that you put in to cook. It allows it to swivel so when you tilt it up and down to follow the sun, it stays level. So. That's a nice thing to have. Oh, there we go. So it uses, you know, gravity to, to level it out. So I'm going to put it in here now and let it set for a while. I'm going to come out in about 10 minutes just to see where we're at. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. Um, it's starting to cloud up a little bit more today. So let's check and see where we're at. We got our temperature is still about 225. So like I said, it's gonna take a little longer to cook than uh, what is actually written on the package or what you know would normally take in a regular oven. But um, it's starting to uh, even out a little bit. It was a little you know lumpy before. It's starting to even out and starting to cook a little bit. Okay, so I think it's about time. Uh, I've been out a couple times to check on it. It's been about an hour and 20 minutes. I made two adjustments to the orientation of the sun oven. Ooh, boy, it's uh, right now the temperature is about 275 degrees. It's gone down, dipped as low as 200 um, during my time here. And you can tell it's really cooking uh, when it starts steaming up the inside of the glass. <laughs> That's uh, typical for when it's cooking really well. So let's open it up. Once again, very hot. I recommend you using the glove unless you're used to doing this. And then the steam's gonna escape. So you can see it's golden brown, very nice. I decided to make uh, you know cookie bars versus cookies. Anyways, it appears to be done. Like I said, it took about an hour and 20 minutes. And you can cook other items in here, obviously. Uh, I've cooked whole chickens, I've cooked rice, I've cooked beans, I've cooked stew, um, I've cooked uh, even burgers in there. You can cook hamburgers in there if you want. Um, I prefer to grill them, but you can make anything you want in here. So in an emergency, um, you really can't beat it. There, it doesn't take any electricity, so I saved on electricity. I don't have to crank up the oven um, and force my air conditioner inside the house to work harder. It's just basically free. It's the only energy you expel is personal energy to come check on it and uh, you know walk outside to uh, to check on it or walk over to the oven and adjust it and check on it. So um, I'm going to get inside and enjoy some of these cookies and i will see you guys in my summary video in just a second hey everybody thanks for sticking with me during the demo uh, i am enjoying the cookie bars although they're a little buttery for my taste the recipe called for a whole stick of butter and that little thing of batter uh you know not really the greatest in my opinion but they were good um because they had chocolate in them obviously so anyways Back to this, uh, it's a very valuable tool to have in the event of a power outage. Um, and it doesn't matter, as I mentioned before, if you're in the middle of winter up north or if you're in scorching heat and humidity down here uh, in the south, as long as you have a partially sunny to a full sunny day, you can boil water, you can cook. Um, uh, so it, it's an invaluable tool in those circumstances and I highly recommend that somebody have one of these or they make different form factors that you can take with you hiking and stuff that are a little lighter they don't have the capacity of this some are tubes and that type of thing but I highly recommend that everybody who preps uh, for emergencies have some type of solar cooking appliance because it's just they work thank you for watching my video I appreciate your support links to any of the products covered in my videos can be found below, as well as a link to my website, thetechieprepper.com. On the website, I actually go into a little more detail, uh, showing some uh, basic schematics, more detailed photos, and that type of thing for everything that I cover. 
uh, within my YouTube videos. So don't be afraid to go there and check it out if you're interested. Uh, as you can probably tell from the video production, I do this as a hobby. I have a full-time job, but my YouTube videos I put out there to hopefully help people better prepare for emergencies or to endure emergencies with a little more comfort and capability. So that being said, if you are interested in my content or you liked it, please like, subscribe, hit the notification button so you know when I have a new video coming out. And also important is to share with friends, family, anybody who you think might be interested in this content and you might want to help out, uh, you know, like I said, to better prepare for emergencies. So um, that's all I have for now. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate it. And hopefully I'll have something cool to show you next time. Thanks. Bye.